simplify the expression. We have e to the negative, the natural log of x squared. So we're going to try to use this formula. If you have e to the natural log of x, that is equal to x. So that is our goal. So here we have a negative one. So we'll start uh, by bringing this upstairs using what's called the power rule for logs. If you have a number here, you can just bring it up. This is e to the natural log of x squared to the negative one. Okay, you can do that whenever you have numbers. If you have p times ln x, you can bring up the p and this is the natural log of x to the p, just like that. All right, now these cancel, right? We're using this formula and so we just get this, x squared to the negative one. Now, properties of exponents say we can simply just multiply the negative one and the two. So negative one times two is negative two. And then we can just bring this downstairs, right? This is really over one. So when you bring it down, it becomes positive. And so we end up with one over x squared. And that's it. So I hope this video has been helpful to someone out there in the world who is trying to learn some mathematics. Good luck to you.